I think video games also fascinate me because they're not just an escape from reality, but also an adventure where I don't need to be just myself. I can be viewing the world from above and have the power to shape the fate of entire armies as they do battle against each other. Or I could be a rookie cop who's having the worst first day on the job in a city filled with zombies by pretending to be Leon S. Kennedy as I venture into Raccoon City. <laughs> And once that is over, I can jump back several hundred years into a different world, in the strange land of the Witcher as I play as Geralt, before becoming a wide range of Star Wars characters, each with their own traits and quirks that make them different from each other as you travel the galaxy. The fact video games are media where you can become anything is also invigorating. I can be a cop, a long haired anime character, Red Riding Hood, Red Riding Hood with a rocket launcher, who has a buddy who fought in World War II, and a knight who fights monsters. By being able to become something I'm not gives me a sense of empowerment that you might not have in real life or make up for things that I could never hope to be without drastically altering my person. I mean, I can't be a green dinosaur, right? Essentially, one can say it's a big game of dress up and trying to look cooler than you actually are and explore things that you wouldn't do in real life. I mean, I don't think I have the bravery to fight in a war unless it's behind the scenes or a monitor. But now you give me endless respawning lives, well, throw me right in there.